So now in this video, we're going to wire the 741 op amp here as an inverting amplifier. So we'll take a voltage coming in. We will get the voltage coming out, but if it's positive, it will come out negative. If it comes in negative, it will come out positive. And this is usually the uh, circuit I see before I see the non-inverting op amp circuits for some reason. And uh, I find this one more confusing. That it be easier to learn the other ones first. That's why I presented the other ones first, the uh, non-inverting ones. So, to begin with, it's wired a bit differently for the similar version of the non-inverting. We're going to put this, uh, that's the 1 kilo ohm. We don't want to put that one there. We want to put a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the output to the inverting input, right there. And now, we're going to do what looks odd if you've been watching my other videos. We're going to take this resistor and put it from the inverting input to the trim pot here, which gives us a variable voltage. And the wires are all bent. And uh, these are thin wires. They're cheap, though, these resistors. So, and there's a wide range of values. So, they're not the easiest to put into the board, but I didn't pay a whole lot, and I got a lot more range of values. So, that is it for the inverting input. The non-inverting input, so third pin down, we're going to put the jumper there. And uh, so, that's third pin down. And we're going to put that to the ground rail up here. So, this is really our reference point uh, for the, uh, the inputs. And so, it's going to look at the voltage difference that we have plus the feedback. So, coming from the trim pot plus the feedback and comparing it with this one and ultimately it will invert the uh, voltage so we're done wiring the actual circuit let's add a couple of LEDs for uh, just so we can see what's going on a bit so the long lead the anode we want to light up when the output here is more positive and uh, short lead the cathode will go to ground then and then when the output is more negative we want the green LED to light up so we want the cathode towards the output the anode to our virtual ground up here and now we're going to protect them with the one kilo ohm resistor and this is more more than twice what we need to protect them but uh, so we could use 470 or so or even just a spec lower but uh, we don't need to be exact so we could use a higher value even the LEDs just won't be as bright so now we're all done turn the power on and you can see that the green LED is on it's about the brightness that I want it but I'll show you turning the uh, trim pot I can make it brighter now I'm gonna tamp it down until it looks like it's just barely so I'll go off there there's off and we'll get a little bit of glow so that's a little more than we had to go to get it to start glowing it blocks about two volts before it starts conducting the green LED does and so I expect probably a positive two point about three volts at the uh, trim pot based on the voltage drop of the LED there you go so it's a little more than we need before it starts conducting and uh, there you go so the important thing is you see it's green so we know because of how we wired it the output is negative this is a positive voltage but we go up to the uh, output of the 741 op amp and you can see it's pretty much spot on the exact same voltage but it's negative so it inverted the voltage it just flipped it from what the uh, input is so now we're going to do the same thing we can turn this all the way towards the, the negative rail which is negative 9 volts the way we have this wired up and we're going to tamp it down to about where the LED a little more than when it starts glowing. So it takes about 1.6 volts for it to start conducting. I'm guessing this is probably about 1.9 across it because we, we raised it uh, a little bit. So probably 1.8 and a half, I'm guessing. So, so you can kind of get an idea of current if you understand uh, components. But no, I was off a bit. So we got negative. 2.264 there so there's a little more voltage than I uh, estimated but uh, 
Main takeaway is negative 2.26. And then there's just a spec higher there, but practically the, the same voltage. So because we're using equal value resistors here, they're both 10 kilo ohms, we have a gain of negative 1. And we can adjust the resistor values to get a different gain. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.